Hi friends, I hope you're doing well. If you saw my last video, you would have seen that I placed a massive order during the Sephora sale. I was trying out a bunch of stuff and I bought so many things that I couldn't really try everything. So I set some products aside and I figured I would try them out in this video because there's one brand that I've had my eye on for a long time and I actually waited until the Sephora sale to pick them up. And it's a new brand, it's called CL. It's really cool because these have SPF infused to all of it, but not just any SPF, mineral SPF, which is perfect for me. I'm really picky when it comes to SPFs and I love mineral SPF since I have more acne prone skin. So anyway, I bought everything that they have so far. They do offer a little bit more on their own website, but on Sephora, this is all they have right now. The tinted serum. I also have the SPF powder. And then they also launched an SPF blush. What's cool about the liquid products is the SPF is 50. I normally only see like 30 or like SPF 15 sometimes in SPF products, but the fact that this is SPF 50 is kind of crazy. Plus I've heard really good things about it. So I'm excited. I don't know, let's just try it out. I figured I'd do like a little everyday look using this. The green color is really unique. I don't feel like there's many cosmetic brands that have this color, which I think is really special. This is called the Tint and Protect SPF 50 Tinted Serum. I got mine in the shade um, 02 Fair. This is supposed to be non-comedogenic, which means it doesn't clog your pores. Let's see, it says, shake well before use, blend six to 10 drops on face using fingers, brush, or sponge. And then apparently you can build up the coverage. So the packaging is interesting. You have like this lid and then it's a dropper. So let's see, I'm probably just gonna apply it from off the back of my hand. So here it is on the back of my hand. It doesn't smell weird. I feel like this shade is gonna be perfect. I'm just gonna pick that up on my current favorite foundation brush. This is the Hourglass foundation brush. And let's apply it to half of the face so we can really see what we're working with. Already it feels really fresh. Like it has a very nice serum-y base, which is what I expected based off of the name. The coverage is there. It looks very, very skin-like at the same time, which is really nice. The fact that this has SPF 50 in it makes me so happy because I'm one that is in a very, very good habit of wearing SPF every single day. No matter if I'm outside or not, I always apply SPF. This shade is literally perfect for me. Okay, I'm going to press that into the skin with my sponge. I am loving how this is looking already. It's so like natural on the skin. You can see, you still see like, Certain areas like this blemish right here is still showing through. I honestly don't mind that anymore. I'd rather have more of like an even natural coverage all over and then spot conceal any areas that need a little more help. You can see I've got like some redness on the side of the face that I don't have this and it really smoothed that out on this side. This looks really nice. I'm already very excited. I can see why people have been, you know, saying good things about this. So let's go ahead and apply more to this side. You can see like that canceled out the redness, but it's so lightweight feeling that it really still feels like skin. Ooh, I really like this. I really hope it wears well, honestly, because this is applying so beautifully, like better than I expected, actually. This brand was started by a celebrity makeup artist, Nikki DeRoast, who founded Rowan Beauty. I'm not sure if she's there anymore. Maybe she sold it. I'm not quite sure. I went on their website to kind of read about the brand and I guess her co-founder was somebody who joined her at Rowan previously. So it seems like they've been friends for a while. They both started this venture together and I love how they're making it all SPF products. I honestly feel like that's something that's missing. I feel like a lot of skincare brands do SPF tinted things, but not a lot of makeup brands like start out or prioritize SPF in their products, especially not mineral SPF. So this is a brand that like really caught my eye when it first launched. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty, like so pretty. And the shade is literally perfect for my skin tone. This is amazing. It's a perfect match. This has such good reviews already on Sephora. Um, I just wanted to see like how many shades this comes in. Okay, it looks like 13 shades um, and it's $44. I already love this. I mean, I know I need to wear it, you know, to really see, but the application, like see my skin, it literally just looks like skin. I would be confident just walking out the door like this, which usually even with skin tints, a lot of the times you can still tell that I've got something, so I feel the need to like add more, but I don't feel like I need to do that with this specific product. So pretty. I'm gonna wear my House Labs concealer. I wanted to give this another go. Um, this is new to me. I bought this during the sale as well. 
I don't wanna overdo the concealer because I really wanna see how the skin tint wears throughout the day. So we're just gonna kind of add more coverage to this blemish here and under the eyes and that's it today. All right, next we're gonna try out the CL SPF 50 blush. This launched in four shades. I picked up one shade to start just to see how I like the formula. I picked up Behati, which is like their dusty rose it's described as. Such a pretty color. I'm excited to try this. I don't think I've ever seen a blush that has SPF 50 in it. Maybe I just haven't looked, I don't know, but I personally feel like it's a really unique product. So this has like a really nice kind of almost like lip glossy type of a applicator. I'm gonna put it on the back of my hand. That's just how I personally like to apply liquid blush. I find I have much more control that way. I'm gonna pick this up on a brush and I'm just gonna start applying this to the cheeks. I'm not exactly sure how pigmented this is, but just kind of stippling this on the apples of the cheeks and then up toward the temples, a little across the nose. I'm switching brushes back to the brush we use to blend out the skin tint, just to really like go around the blush so that there's a seamless transition between the skin tint and the blush itself. I love the color of that. I think it looks so healthy and fresh. Really, really cute. Okay, before I go into the powder, I'm gonna add actually some faux freckles. I just think that this look could use a couple. I don't like super intense fake freckles. I feel like it looks too fake on me, although I do have a few freckles on my cheeks mostly, so I feel like a couple makes sense for me, um, but I, I usually just use this pencil. This is the Artist Color Pencil from Makeup Forever in Endless Cacao. And for me, it's like the perfect super light faux freckle pencil. Like it barely shows up, but that's like what I want. I don't want my faux freckles to be too obvious. Otherwise, I feel like it's too obvious on myself. I'm doing it before powder because I find like if I have a little bit of powder on after, it makes it look even more natural. All right, now they have three shades in this powder. This is the SPF 30 powder. It's called Filter and Protect, and it actually comes with this little puff right here. Love the green color again. I love the packaging on this too. I think it's really nice. So I'm just gonna take this with the puff. I figured I'd use it with the puff since it's in there, plus I love a good puff to set the face. So um, I bought the shade Light. I'm just gonna press this underneath the eyes. It does have a slightly yellowish tint, which on my super fair skin, I feel like it kind of slightly tints the makeup um, underneath, but it looks really pretty, especially when applied with the puff, actually. It's super airbrushed looking and not heavy. Really, really nice smooth powder. I'm just setting over top of the blush as well. It's so buttery smooth too. Gosh, I'm really impressed with this brand so far. I mean, I know they've only launched a couple of products, but like I'm loving everything. In a perfect world, I feel like I would love it if it didn't slightly tint my personal skin tone, but like I have really, really fair skin right now. It's not a complete deal breaker for me, but that just looks so nice. I feel like it looks nice anyway. I do need some bronzer, I feel like. Wouldn't it be fun if they came out with a SPF bronzer? I'm sure they're planning on it. This is the Oma Beauty. Um, double take sculpting bronzer, which I'm gonna add under the cheekbones a little, to the forehead, along the jawline, and down the neck. I wanna point out too, everything feels really nice on the skin. Like it feels like as comfortable as skincare, which is just a good plus, you know? I'm just filling in my brows with my Anastasia brow definer. I'm taking a little bit of what's left on the blush brush and just adding a little more on top of the powder, just to make sure that that still shows up pretty well. I feel like for this type of a look, this is very like minimal. So I'm not gonna go crazy for the eyes. I'm just gonna do basically bronzer on the eyes. So I'm just gonna use that same Oma Beauty bronzer. I'm literally gonna keep it so easy today. We'll do a little bit of the Tower 28 mascara on the top and bottom lashes. Okay, I'm actually gonna use the same pencil that I used for faux freckles and just really lightly Line the lips with this. I love this color for lip liner. A super light layer just like sculpts the lips without looking unnatural. It's so pretty. Oh my gosh, you're never gonna believe what happened this weekend. I went to the Jones Brothers concert with my sisters and it was so fun. But when I was walking into the arena, you guys, 
all of a sudden I hear, Allie, and I turn around and this darling follower comes up to me and says, I love your lipsticks and pulls out a Revee Beauty Effortless Lips from her pocket. You guys, it was the first time I had ever seen Revee Beauty in the wild and it was so surreal to me. It made my whole night. I couldn't even believe it. I am still just like on cloud nine from that. So thank you to her for saying hi to me and for making my life. And also for anyone else who said hi to me that night, I literally just love you guys so much. And it was just so fun to see a few of you in person, like meet some of you and get to chat with you. So anyway, I had a blast. Point is I'm gonna be wearing Lily from Revee Beauty, which if you didn't know, this is my beauty brand. It launched last month and I couldn't be more proud. I feel like this just fits the vibe of today's look. Like a super understated, very fresh, minimal glam. Adding a little more of the blush. I'm just using whatever's left on the brush. I feel like that's plenty for this type of look. I'm gonna kind of throw a little bit in the crease of the eye. Um, I'm not gonna do any setting spray because I wanna see how this wears tonight. I'm adding just a little more powder right up against the nose and on the tip of the nose where I get most oily. Also gonna kind of set this blemish too. I love how my makeup looks. It's so simple, but like chic, very clean. Um, the last thing I do need is a little brow setter. We're gonna do some Benefit brow setter. Okay, so here's the final look using the new brand CL. I'm so excited about this, honestly. Like I love how it looks. I'm gonna go ahead and wear this for the rest of the night and I'll give you guys an update on how things wear. So let's begin our wear test. It is currently 3.57 p.m. So a little bit later than what I would normally do, but I'm planning on doing a little workout and things like that. This is a very like everyday lightweight kind of a brand. So it doesn't have any longevity claims, but I still wanna test out like how it looks over the next few hours before I wash my face because I'm excited, like really, like my first impressions exceeded my expectations. I'm really, really thrilled about it. So far, I feel like the skin tint is what's really shining. This looked insane on the skin, like so beautiful, but all three products are really meshing well together. I think my skin looks really fresh. It feels lightweight. Plus I love that there's SPF in this. So I'll see you guys in a little bit um, for my update on how this wore, but Based off my first impressions right now, like fingers crossed, I really hope that this wears well because I really love how it looks right now. So I'll see you guys in a little bit for my check-in and final update. Okay, hello, it is future me. It's currently 10 p.m. So I've been wearing this for six hours. Honestly, it looks really good. Like everything is staying intact really nicely. It's definitely more dewy than a lot of my other foundations, but like it's a foundation serum. So that's not something that's like unexpected for a formula like this. I really, really like it. Like I haven't touched up at all. Normally I would check my complexion and kind of like pat away any of the excess oils. Um, I obviously didn't today because I was doing a wear test. But overall, I feel like it's really fresh. This to me is great for every day. I wouldn't necessarily say I would wear it for any other occasion but I definitely would see myself wearing it for the day-to-day -day more casual situations, especially since there's SPF in it as well. Um, this is a great like everyday running errands kind of a foundation for me anyway. Um, love it though. Like it looks really, really pretty on the skin, really natural. I really have nothing bad to say about it. The powder like didn't mattify anything after a while, but you know, that's okay. And I was thinking a nice thing about the... SPF being in the powder is when you reapply it, you're technically reapplying a little more SPF, which is kind of cool. So I would definitely touch up with that. Um, and then the blush is still on my cheeks, like it's still very pigmented. So I really am loving this brand so far. I'm excited to see what else they come out with. And yeah, let me know if you guys have tried anything from this brand. Again, if I had to say try one thing, it would be the foundation or the serum. I think that that's just, it's so pretty upon application. It's so great for every day and I can't wait to keep wearing it. So yeah, that's it for me today. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I will see you in my next video. Love you, bye.